Hello everyone. Today I decided uh, to make a tour around this town which is called Shilute. The town I grew up in. So yeah, I've been living here for about 20 years. And I know a few places to show around you. So uh, I've got my mom's uh, bicycle. And I'm gonna cycle around the town, do that tour and show, uh, you know, the most uh, famous places around. Unfortunately, there is a wind gust today, quite strong winds. So it might ruin my videos sometimes. This is our town sport. As you see, quite modern uh, boats, even yachts you can see on the other side. Big, big yachts. And from this port you can go, uh, there is a river called Shisha. Go uh, heads uh, that way. So about, I don't know, maybe six kilometers along the river. It flows into another bigger river called Nyamunas. And from there you can go uh, pretty much anywhere to open seas, you know. Yeah, this is how our port looks like. And this is my horse for today, my mom's bike. <laughs> I'm gonna ride all around the town today. I'm cycling here along, uh, along River Shisha. And uh, I'll stop here. On this side, as you see, there is a little square where the cars are parked. It's called the Old Market uh, Square. Back in the day, in the uh, 1900s, 1940s, it used to be like uh, in a market in full operation. And he, 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 as you can see now, is uh, they built this uh, earth heap, yeah? Earth heap, goes like this. So, uh, in order to protect from a river overflow, overflowing and flooding the city, the town, so they built this uh, heap. But before that, I've seen the pictures, uh, there, there was flat, flat surface from the uh, bank of the river. And uh, all the people, you know, from the, like traders, they used to sail with boats, with their own boats and bring all the sort of products like, uh, I don't know, home, homegrown or handmade products and uh, exchange with other people, other trains, tradesmen or selling them in this uh, market square. So yeah, it used to be a very busy area here. If you carry on cycling, you can uh, see this uh, beautiful, nice yellow bridge, which I've seen in a lot of uh, town's pictures, you know, like uh, advertising town or something. Uh, it's not that beautiful now. <laughs> As I see, it's a little bit dirty. But anyway, this is the favorite town's bridge. And this road leads to another town. If you go along this road, another 8 kilometers, you will come to a little town called Rusne, which is fisherman's town. So if you around, don't get lazy, just go to that direction, 8 kilometers, and you will see another like tourist destination. Beautiful place, a lot of fresh fish, and uh, all the rivers around surrounding the town, so it's basically uh, biggest Lithuanian uh, I Iceland called Rusne. In front of me, across the road, there is like town's uh, civil hall or council house. I don't know how it's called. Uh, basically, all the town's government uh, gathers in there and make some uh, stupid decisions, as all the governments does. On this side, in here, is a statue for Hugo Shoy. Hugo Shoy was, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> according to, he's holding the piece of paper and a pen. 
I think he was a, an author or maybe some activist. And there is a some old style cottage. Nice architecture. And also uh, I see tourist information center as well. So if you get lost around the place, get in there and uh, they'll tell you where to go and what to see. This building in front of me is uh, like town's uh, cultural cultural house. All the you know where uh, performances, concerts going on. As you see, all the not all the but many buildings are still German German style. As this town uh, years ago belonged to German Germans. So they built a lot of houses around around the town. This abandoned building used to be a, a pub back in the day, like 30 years ago or so. There's a little lake outgrown by uh, some plants, some haze or something. Wow, what a mess in, the, in this lake. I remember we used to fish. There used to be a lot of fishes around. Can't see any fish now. But it's a nice little park. Nice and tidy. Ah, oh, you can see beavers sitting uh, on the shore. See? Sunbathing. You can see another German type house. I love this sort of uh, architecture. Some ducks chilling. You see those lanterns. It wasn't that modern back in the day, but when we were kids, we used to go and uh, trying to knock them out with the stones. But please don't tell no one. Whoever knocks the most light bulbs is the winner. This is again River Shisha. That's the same river I filmed uh, early on. Just close around the town. Beautiful. I love when it's uh, calm, peaceful. Oh, I saw some fish jumping. <laughs> some gym equipment. <laughs> you can go and exercise. And then, uh, after you've done your exercises, we can go and uh, I have a swim in this room. And I'll show you the town stadium as a uh, this about in a uh, across a little bridge. Beautiful river Shisha. Through a little uh, woods. And this is where towns uh, Stadium is. Oh, someone's coming. Here we go. This is sort of a training pitch. Old fashioned uh, tennis courts. And 
this is supposed to be main uh, football pitch. Ah. See someone's uh, mowing the grass. Running tracks. First, second, third. <laughs> oh, I see. I see the chin up bar. So I might do some chin ups here. <laughs> Now I feel fit. I can uh, carry on. All right, let's see. See some rope across the river. And some steps. All right, let's see. We can get across. If you're brave enough. Yeah, seems to be some training, training uh, grounds here. We've got some abandoned cars, maybe for fire brigade, for firemen, not too sure. And this is what's happening when you Riding with one hand and uh, suddenly stop. Also bruise the elbow. <laughs> Hopefully my bike will be intact. Oh man, just fell off the bike. Yeah, I see the steering wheel is not that straight anymore. Whew. <laughs> oh. I'm glad no one's around. <laughs> Nobody saw me. Just decided suddenly to stop. Oh. Now my sprockets is uh, skipping, skipping the beat. Oh. Or maybe I have to adjust the gears. Look at that. Just came off this bike. Oh. Right in front of me, you can see the, the bridge. It's called the railway bridge. I think I might go uh, on the top of it. Uh -huh. Should be nice views from the top. Look at that bridge, which is uh, a lot of tires hanging uh, underneath of the bridge. I don't know what's the purpose of that. But I'm trying to get out of this island and uh, he'll be heading to railway bridge and railway bridge is called because uh, there is a railway on the bridge and the trains are passing by this is it guys I'm on the railway bridge see and underneath this bridge there is river shisha as you saw it uh, from down there, from the island. I was in the island over there. Went uh, all the way back to the nearest bridge, get across, run right that pathway up the hill, up the bridge, and uh, here I am. And the funny thing, the funny game is to pick these pebbles, you see how many of them there are. Loads of them, thousands. So when we were kids, we used to come here and throw these Stones into the river. Wow! And 
watch them splashing. It used to be a lot of fun. Another part of fun. Get on these railways. Put some coin. You know, like uh, one pound coin or whatever the coin you have. Put it on here. And listen when the train comes there. Uh, you know, the town train station is right over there. About a kilometer away from here. So when you hear the noise of the train, you put the coin on the railway and run until the train passes by and it makes the coin big and uh, flat, you know <laughs> used to be a cool game okay, I'll carry on exploring the plates I think I'm gonna ride that that direction towards the town so I'll see you from there then on my right is another cool place by saying cool, I mean uh, very good for swimming in the hot summer days a lot of people gathers here to spend their time to chill to swim let me show you not many swimmers right now oh, I see a couple over there and this is where river Shisha comes from it flows all the way from there so uh, I think another 8 kilometers where it starts and uh, as far as I remember it used to be here very very cold water maybe do it to this waterfall oh, I see a lot of green moss growing right now so it's not perfect time for swimming but in the summertime Brilliant! And we used to run down this uh, ramp, jump off this cliff, and die right in this, where the water falls down, right in there. Yeah, good memories. Little beach over there. Yeah, a lot of nature around my town. A lot of uh, woods, little forests, lakes, rivers, loads of nature. And this is a not so cool place. <laughs> it's a cemetery. Just wanted to show you how it looks, uh, Lithuanian cemetery. looks something like this we have uh, two cemeteries this is the old one and I think across uh, the road there is a new one I'll show you this one so we get an idea see if the person passes away they put this uh, gravestone and uh, engrave all those uh, uh, names, surnames, uh, date of birth and uh, date of uh, death. It's a quite big town cemetery. And this is a main uh, church, town's uh, Catholic church. Not so big, but that's what uh, that's how it looks like. Very simple church. I'm back on the town's main street so we can see some shops around and uh, the building in front of me is a uh, town's uh, coach station
This is another town's little square. People are chilling. Little fountain. That building in front of me, after the World War II, used to be a town's prison. And then after so many years it's been converted to a, some sort of prof, prof technical school. And nowadays I don't even know what's in there. As I can't see any signs of the school anymore, so... Probably they changed, changed over again to something else. This is the Dames Town's one and only hotel, as far as I know. This hotel been uh, for ages in here. They're just changing their names, that's all. Hey, early on I mentioned uh, that there is only one hotel in the town. But on my uh, rides around, I found this one. Yeah, Kitchen Inn. What a cool name of the hotel, Kitchen Inn. So I didn't know about that. And on this side, there is a church. So whoever is the god fairing, they can go straight to the church. Stay in this hotel, Kitchen Inn, and go straight into this church. I just came to buy this uh, traditional Lithuanian cake and you know what? I spotted another hotel here. So how wrong was uh, I was about uh, saying that uh, there's only one uh, and only hotel in town. Apparently there are three so far and all of them they are within walking distance. Probably within two minutes walk around you know. One is over there, second one is here and third one is just behind this building, so uh, yeah, you never be short of accommodation. Wherever you visit our town, there are three hotels at least. So you're welcome, guys. This is old building, town's uh, post office. Also, they taking pictures of it. As it's very old and sticking them uh, those pictures on the postcards and stuff and on, uh, on that side of the road is uh, I think uh, German Lutheran uh, Church so a lot of Germans tourists coming I've seen taking pictures some tall German uh, Lutheran uh, Church Town's uh, fire station, fire brigade. Been built in 1911. Oh, this is a statue of Zuderman. I think another German, uh, I don't even know, you have to Google it. German maybe author or some activist again. Some sort of important person. I saw the other day German tourists Going to that uh, Zuderman's uh, statue, taking pictures with them, <laughs> with him. And this is a memorial for World War II uh, soldiers, Soviet soldiers. There used to be internal frame, uh, fl frame, flame. And uh, during, uh, I can't remember, it's I think 9 of May when they used to celebrate uh, army day or maybe victory of war day so they used to gather those soldiers around and uh, shooting in the air firing uh, firearms and all these gravestones they are engraved uh, with the names
Russian soldiers' names or uh, Soviet Union's soldiers. Red Army, basically Red Army's uh, soldier names. So this is it, guys. Uh, I'm finishing my video where I started. Well, I started uh, not far away from here, in the port, if you remember. Just like one minute ride uh, that way. And uh, yeah, you saw all, all the town. I drove uh, all around the town. Not all of it, but most part of it. So the town isn't big. It's like probably three kilometers across. If that, maybe two and a half, maybe three kilometers, let's say. And uh, maybe two kilometers this way. So, very small town. It took me, what, about an hour to drive all around and showed you the places I think are most interesting. If it was any interesting for, for you guys. Uh, also, I can tell that the population of the town is about 17,000. Uh, when I was growing up, about 30 years ago, it used to be 20,000. But now, according to Google, only 17,000. So, population decreased due to immigration, I think. All the young people, younger generation, they moved to bigger countries or bigger towns because, uh, you know, not much to do in here, especially for youngsters. Okay, so that, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you are a guest, you're most welcome to come and visit our town and enjoy the places I showed you or maybe you can discover even uh, more interesting places. Peace out guys and see you in my next vlogs. Ciao, ciao!